My name's Kate, it's so great to meet you, and welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to be talking about the art of being alone. Sorry if you can hear my crickets, um, my lizard won't eat them, so they're just keeping me up at night, <laughs> all night long, all the time. So I just really wanna talk about what it's like to kind of realize your worth being alone and everything. A lot of the times I feel like in societies, we are really focused on productivity and making our time useful so that might be working more hours than you physically can that might be going to school more than you can that might be hanging out with friends if you have any sort of free time available i feel like all our time is really spent making the most out of it or spending it all doing other things we spend a lot of our time focusing on other people that we don't have time to focus on ourselves, and i feel like that is especially true for relationships and friendships it feels like a lot of the time we are so pressured to have these relationships with people or friendships with people that will affect our lives for a long time like long distance friendships when people move off to school you still feel connected to them but it's really hard to have the same connection that you did when they originally left and that's especially true for relationships being someone who just got out of my first and longest relationship it was three and a half years it's really important to realize that you're gonna be okay if you're alone. I was in a relationship since I was 14 years old. I'm 18 now. So that's a long time to be in a relationship with someone. I learned a lot from that. A lot of good things and bad things from that relationship, which I'm very grateful for either way. But I feel like the hardest thing to realize whenever I wanted to leave the relationship that I was going to be alone afterward. It was really hard to kind of know that that person was going to be out of my life if I chose to go along the path that I did choose. It was really difficult to kind of see another side of things. To me, it didn't feel like things were gonna really continue after I ended my relationship because that's all I had known since I was 14. It's really difficult to look from an outside perspective while you're still inside of a relationship and realize that things may not be as beautiful as they seem. And not to mention the fact that I felt like I was losing a big chunk of myself by losing this person. So I made a little bitty list of five magical reasons why it's totally okay to be alone. So let's just get right into it. So thing number one is to write letters. Now, I know you probably think I'm crazy for saying writing letters because who would want to waste that much postage? But I'm not saying that you send them. I'm saying that you write them in a little journal where you can freely express your thoughts without having to worry about that person ever seeing it. So especially when I'm feeling kind of upset or lonely, I really like to write letters to the people that I am upset with or missing at that time because it really helps me get closure on the situation because a lot of the times the people I want to talk to might be several states away or I'm, I don't talk to them anymore for reasons. I just can't talk to them at that moment and that's fine because people are busy. People are so busy. And so in order to kind of help me feel less lonely, I like to write letters to myself for the future and the past and letters to other people that won't ever see them. It just kind of helps me get stuff off my chest. Something that a lot of people recommend with journaling and manifesting and all that, like to get your thoughts off your chest, but I've never really, not wholeheartedly, like actually put myself to doing it. Number two is to make playlists. I love romanticizing my own life and my little music taste. My Spotify is linked below for you, by the way. Honestly, if I could choose one thing to get me through life, it'd be music. I love all sorts of things, which I'm sure you'll see when you click on my Spotify. Music is genuinely so healing for so many reasons. Like, I think music is seriously one of the best therapies in so many more ways than one. My dad's doing construction underneath me, if you can hear that. But I recommend making playlists for emotions that you're feeling or playlists that kind of mark where you are in your healing process of learning to be alone. So I have a playlist called Sitting in the Shower and that is the playlist that I, surprise, sit in the shower to. We all do it, okay? It's not weird. Number three is romanticize your life. This means take pictures, take videos, go do spontaneous things by yourself. For example, in the beginning of this video and right now, um, I am sitting alone on the beach in the middle of January when it was 30 degrees outside because I wanted to look at the stars alone and it was fun. I find it 
<clears throat> really beneficial to spend time alone and just kind of get to know yourself because you're the only person that's going to be there the entire time you're on this planet. So I highly recommend getting to know her or him or them or whoever you are. Number four is creative outlets and I'm going to pair this with number five which is hobbies because creative outlets such as making music, making art, writing poetry, writing stories are really important to learning who you are and learning how to be alone because it's important to really come to the senses of your own thoughts and it's important to really take care of yourself and find ways to make yourself feel good and ways to allow yourself to put out your own feelings into the world so they can be received. And that might be doing it in a private way or a public way like making a YouTube video or a private way like writing down letters to people and never sending them. Any way that you choose to have your own little outlet where you can share your thoughts, it's very beneficial. It's good for you, it's good for your mental health, it's good for your physical health. And just some additional thoughts is it's okay to be lonely. It's okay to miss what you once had because we all do we romanticize our life in so many ways that we don't even realize like i personally romanticize quarantine because it's such a good time in my life it was suck it sucked it sucked i miss it because i miss the time alone and i miss the time getting to know who i was because that if it weren't for that time i would not be sitting here today talking about this it's very important to realize that being alone is okay so just know that if you're really going through something and you don't know if you can be alone, there are so many hotlines, so many places that can help you deal with those thoughts that you are having and those feelings that you are feeling that are so beneficial. Anyway, I think that wraps up this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for trusting me with your time. And I hope I see you soon. Bye.